because of his his time in the ABA and with the New Jersey Nets. But I could still look at him and think 76ers. You know what I mean? I could look at Charles Barkley and think 76ers, even, even though even though his biggest accomplishments happened on the Phoenix Suns. But I could still look at him and think 76ers. It's hard to look at LeBron James and think of LA Laker. It's just hard. It's just hard, man. You know, I know you want to ring with them, and that's cool, but you also want to ring in Cleveland. You know what I mean? It's like, it's just hard. He will have to really play the rest of his career with, with the Lakers. Like, if you play another another three years, it got that will make seven years as a Laker, and then you could see, I could see him as a Laker after that. That's basically like Shaq. When did Shaq um, become a Laker? What, 96? And he went to um Miami in what? 03, 04? 04? Yeah, 04. Yeah, that's about eight years. I mean, three championships later and uh, and, and an MVP. Yeah. But still, that's about, that's about eight years. So I could I could look at LeBron as a Laker if he if he if he stays on the team. But if, if he break if he breaks this record. Find out Bronny is being drafted to another team and then go to that team. Like, yeah, man. Like, a rental. A rental broke Kareem Adu Jabal's record. Not a Laker. So, that, I, that's how I feel. I, I think that's how a lot of people, that's how a lot of people are going to feel. But it's still, sure, it's still a record that needs to be, that needs to be broken in LA, in front of those LA fans. And I heard, I saw, I heard on TV they want him to do it with a um, with a, a hook shot, a sky hook, cause cause of Kareem. Nah, man. I get why you, I get why it, it'd be funny. He do a sky hook and 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 to break the record and everything. Nah, I want to see that trademark up in the air, head above the rim, got the arm be. Got the arm behind your shoulder. Throw it down, young fella. Dunk that LeBron James made very popular. I want to see that. Dunk. I want to see that breakaway up in the air, gliding to gliding to the to to the to the rim with with his with his hand palm on the ball. The ball is like three inches away from the back of his head and slam that down. LeBron James with no regard for human life. I want to. That's how I want to see him break this record. Please don't let it be some some boring some boring ass bullshit jump shot, eight foot jump shot. Please don't let it be some some silly like that, or some some one of those three points he likes to shoot. He gonna be like three for fifteen, and, and that third basket broke the record. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. Slam it. You ain't got to slam it on somebody. I want to see it slam. I want to see him in the ear trying to break the backboard with his own strength. And I want, that's how I want to see him break the record wearing a liquor jersey in L.A. That's that, that would be a perfect way. Like, yeah, pay homage to Kareem is cool. But look, man, I'm probably I'm probably the 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 last of this generation of my current generation that that even knows who Kareem is. I'm pretty sure you have somebody three years younger than me. They probably won't even know who who, who Kareem is. You know what I mean? Like, or they probably heard of him. They probably heard they probably haven't heard it from until now because they every time they talk about LeBron, they talk about Kareem to do Jabal. So paying homage to to Kareem is cool. But it it'll kind of it'll kind of be like a new rapper sampling sampling um somebody's music, but the person don't know who you sampling. So the person actually thinks it's your song, but really it was a, it was it was it was a um it was a sample. I e Juicy by Biggie Smalls. First time I heard Juicy by Biggie by, by the Notorious B.I.G. I was like seven years old. When I found out he sampled an R&B singer and the song was called Juicy, I was like 20, 
three years old. And then that's when I found out why the song is called Juicy, because I didn't get the title until 23 years old, and I found out, oh, the song was sampled, well, the beat was sampled by an R&B singer that called it the song Juicy. Oh, you listen every day. People, people is not going to be aware of who Korean Dude Jabbar is on that level. You know what I mean? Now on that level. We're going back, we're going back to like the early 80s, late 70s now. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's going back right now. You know what I mean? LeBron, break that record LeBron's way. LeBron's way. And the LeBron's way will be a, a, a high in the air, head above the rim, ball behind the back of your head by two, by like two, two or three inches. Somebody is under the basket and then runs away because he make a business decision that I'm not gonna be a poster on in a historic basket by LeBron James. Slam it down hard while the crowd and the commentators go crazy because not because of the record, because of the dunk, and then they go even more crazy when they because of the record. That's how LeBron should break it. That's the LeBron James way, and that bracket is going to be done for in about another six, maybe seven games. But if he keep on scoring 46 points, keep scoring 46 points, King James, it will happen in five. All right, y'all. So, um... Y'all seen that um Dallas Cowboys tweet? <laughs> oh my god, man. When I heard about the tweet, it was so many hours later. I was I was like, damn man. It had to be down by now. I know it's down by now, man. I found out about this tweet. It was so late in the day. So late in the so late in the day, I was, uh, on Tuesday, I was just like, yeah, man, this tweet got to be down by now. And it wasn't. It was still up. <laughs> it has 17 million views. Why did they do that to him? <laughs> oh, I'm laughing, but I'm not laughing, laughing. Because that's a joke. That's a... That's a joke as an organization that you would do that to your star quarterback. Like, if I'm a free agent and I'm really, really good and I, I can get your team to the promised land, why would I sign with you after I seen what you did with, with Dak Prescott? What, the moment the, mo the moment I, I hurt myself and I, and I missed, I missed, like, the last three games of the season that caused us not to make the playoffs? Y'all gonna, y'all gonna put, like, Put like a a a, a doll with my face on it above a a, a a burning flame or something like what y'all gonna what y'all gonna do to me if if y'all don't get your way? You know like like I get it two different two different franchises I get it but I was really happy with, with my New York Giants. My New York Giants had a decent record, went to the playoffs and got a playoff win. Yeah, we got destroyed by Philadelphia Eagles, sure, but soon after the game is over, we're we're we like, okay, it's all season time. So how much money how much millions are we giving Daniel Jones? How much millions are we gonna get Saquon Barkley? Come on. How many millions are we talking? We was, as fans, we were so grateful that we 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 we're, we're begging the organization. To pay Daniel Jones, pay Saquon Barkley, and we're begging the NFL to vote and make and, and make um Brian Double coach of the freaking year because he deserved it. On so many levels, he deserved it. Y'all Cowboys, man, y'all y'all so y'all so like spoil you. And here's the thing, y'all so undeserving spoil you. Undeserving for you should be grateful 
Y'all haven't won a road playoff game in 30 years. And that Press Prescott had the game of his freaking career to get you that win. You haven't won a championship in about twenty in about twenty nine twenty nine years no thirty years. Y'all haven't done nothing that that shows this type of relevancy in three decades. You know, and the man had a really really bad game. Against the top defense in the league, and you sent a tweet against him. Um, let's go ahead and read that tweet. Here's the here's the tweet by the Dallas Cowboys. Dak Prescott gave away the ball twice in the narrow loss to the 49ers in a matchup the Cowboys had a chance to win if they didn't again generate self-inflicted wounds. You pieces of crap. I can't. Man. The, if if I'm Dad Prescott, I'm already with my agent. I'm already like, yo, shop around. Because the moment my contract is up, I'm out of here. I'm not renewing nothing. I'm not signing nothing. I don't care how much of the bonus will be. I am out of here. Out of here because that is ridiculous. The organization did this, you know. Like, I'd rather one of his players did something like this. Like the um the interview that the, the interview that um Michael Parsons did, when he pretty much blamed the offense. Really, let's keep it real. He blamed Dak Prescott for the loss. But that's understandable. You're a player. You put your heart out there. You you did your thing out there. If if the 49ers is the number one defense in, in the NFL, the, the Dallas Cowboys are number two. That was a great defensive game between both both those teams. And the Cowboys defense came, showed up. They showed out on a huge level. It's too bad that Michael Parsons can't play quarterback. So I rather one of the players will say something like that, not the organization. You supposed to have, you supposed to have his back. You supposed to have his back one hundred percent, man. This this is our quarterback on some Terrell Owens shit. You supposed to, y'all was, that's your boy right there, basically. You know what I'm saying? And you gonna you gonna put him on blast like that? Then you gonna you gonna put a you gonna put the picture, the pitch the picture on the tweet. Him looking at the tablet, probably looking at one of his um interceptions, with his head down, looking looking kind of sad and disappointed and so that's the picture you put up you put up with your tweet too. And I don't want to hear nothing. Oh, Jerry Jones, the billionaire, he didn't, he didn't know what was going on. He don't got time for that, man. Jerry Jones know every goddamn thing that that's going on. He knew it. He knew exactly what was out there. And guess what? If he didn't know it was out there when a tweet was. Or was made before it reached 13 million, then it went up to 15 million. Last time I checked the tweet, it was at 17 million. Before it got that many views, it could have got taken down. You could have contacted your people and said, Yo, who put that tweet up there? Take that tweet down right now. I don't want, I don't, you don't gotta tell me who did it. No questions asked. Just take it down. If you don't take it down, then I'm gonna find did. I'm gonna fire that person. It stood up the whole time. When I, I was so deep in the day when when I went when I went when I went to go find when I went on Twitter to go find the tweet that I really was convinced to myself that it was gone. Cause why would it be up this long, right? Why would any organization have a tweet like this up this long? Going toward like the afternoon on Tuesday afternoon, basically, still there. I was able to find it. I was able to find it and read it to y'all, to y'all beautiful people on this microphone. Not Google search. On Twitter, went go. I went on their Twitter account to find the tweet. 